Okay, are you ready? I cannot wait to share with you because I have picked out the best trends for spring for a curvy body type. Now you may be asking yourself, well, why is this important at all? Can I just wear every trend that I want to? The reason that it's important is because every body type has a very specific way of how it achieves balance based upon the hourglass. I call this horizontal balance. So if you're going to wear trends, wouldn't you wanna wear trends that are going to look best on your body type? I know I would. I wanna look great and I wanna be current too. In this episode of the Adore Your Wardrobe Show, I am going to share with you just a few of the best trends for a curvy body type that actually help you to achieve balance. I'm gonna go into the specifics, my friends. We're going to include what to look for in the style, fit, and details. Plus, I'm gonna be sharing with you links to all the items that I have and I'm showcasing today. What are we waiting for? Let's get to it. everybody, it's Kelly Snyder from Adore Your Wardrobe, and if this is the first episode that you have ever seen, I just want to say welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you are here. I run an online fashion education program called Adore Your Wardrobe, and I've been doing it for the last eight years. So I've seen a lot of spring trends come and go, my friends, for sure. And in that time, I have helped thousands of women demystify fashion through body symmetry formulas, which are based in math and science. What I do is I provide you the formulas of how to create an amazeball outfit, and we do it through math and science, essentially. You get to learn the best cuts, styles, accessories, and colors that are gonna work best on your individual body type. And one of the things that I teach inside of my program is that for every outfit, doesn't matter if you are just running a couple errands or if you've got a date night planned or if you're trying to impress a colleague, in order to have an amazeball outfit, it needs to have three things. The first thing is clothes that work with your body, not against it. It's also known as clothes that help you achieve your illusion of balance goal. Number two is that they have to fit. And number three is that they're in your style. And in today's episode, I'm gonna help you do all three. So I'm gonna help you kind of decipher out of all the trends that are out there for this spring, which ones are going to work best for your curvy body type. We're gonna get into the details you wanna look for. We're gonna look into the styles. We're gonna look into fit. And then we'll talk about your individual style as well at the end. So it is going to be all three legs, as I refer to, of the fashion store that we're gonna be talking about today. And I love to be able to do it when new things come into the store as we see with the trends. Okay, but before I get started, if you haven't watched my past video, okay, my past video, it's right up over here, all right, which is called How to Dress a Curvy Body Type, I would encourage you to watch it now. Inside of that video, I break down how a curvy body type achieves horizontal balance. I know I've been saying the word horizontal balance a lot, but I actually teach you how your curvy body type achieves that horizontal balance based upon the standard that is the hourglass. Because most women do not have an hourglass naturally. No, they do not. We actually have to trick the eye into seeing that hourglass where there isn't one naturally, and we do that through the way that we dress. And inside of my program, I refer to this trickery, this trickery that we do with the eye as a body type's illusion of balance goal. For a curvy, they have a perfect hourglass to begin with, but they need to make sure that they don't overfill or underfill any one part of their hourglass or they're going to look unbalanced. So with that in mind, let's dive into my top three trends for you, my curvy girls. You're gonna be wanting to embrace these trends as you see them, but I'm gonna give you three great trends that you can instantly add into your wardrobe that are super easy to wear. Trend number one is some flare jeans with some utility pocket detail. Yep, yep. Okay, let's start with denim. We always see new styles of denim, new trends of denim that come in in the fall and the springtime, and this year is no exception. 
So I want to talk about these flare jeans, which I think are absolutely amazing for a curvy. So the reason I love them for a curvy is the first thing is I think it's an easy to wear trend. Flares are trending right now. It's an easy thing to add into your wardrobe. It doesn't feel like it's kind of coming out of left field or super complex. And so it's an easy trend to add, which is always like, isn't that the way it's supposed to be? We're not having to overthink things too much. But the other reason I really love these jeans is I love the utility pocket in the front. And then I love the trouser hem at the hemline. So having those two details, both again, the utility pocket, which is right up against the waistband, and then going down to the trouser hem that is at the hemline is just some extra visual interest that helps to keep the eye moving, which is what you want for a curvy. So the jeans that I'm showcasing right now are the Absolution Color Block High Waist Flare Jean in Indigo from Wit and Wisdom. Okay, so here's some other reasons why I love them as a curvy. All right, so the first reason that I love these flare jeans is that they're a baby flare jean. So many times with flare jeans, we can see them kind of wide leg and oversized, or we can see them really tied in the thigh and then kind of belly down at the bottom. These are just a really nice flare that's kind of tiny. You can see that it definitely walks through the silhouette. It just kind of like goes right along with it. Again, you want to make sure that you're mindful of that as a curvy. You don't want to add any jeans that are going to have a lot of visual weight to them because again, visual weight can kind of upset your hourglass's balance. The second reason that I love them is what I talked about before, and I really love the utility pockets near the waist and then that oversized hem at the hemline. It provides two places of visual interest, which really help the eye to keep moving. Next, which is something that a lot of people don't think about, but it's the color. So this is kind of the Goldilocks color for curvy jeans. It's not too dark, so it doesn't attract the eye at all, because sometimes when jeans are too dark, then there's the eye doesn't really pick up any visual interest it has, but they're not too light either, and you don't want to have it attract too much attention. It's just a really great color of blue. This indigo is just right. It's neither too dark nor too light. It's just like the perfect medium color, which is what a curvy wants. And then finally, the reason these jeans are perfection is they are the Wit and Wisdom brand. If you haven't tried these jeans yet, try them now. Wit and Wisdom is one of the favorites amongst the Adore Your Wardrobe community and actually has been voted the top jean over the last six years. So if you haven't had the chance to try Wit and Wisdom, give them a try now. I promise that they are life-changing jeans. Trend number two is the hyper-feminine plus peach fuzz trends. Okay, so hyper feminine is actually a new trend for 2024 and it came out of social media. So kind of wrap your brain around that. I always find that fascinating. Trends used to come out straight out of Paris, New York, and London Fashion Week. And this trend specifically came out after the release of the Barbie movie. So Barbie, as we know, was the bright magenta pink. It was ultra girly. This was kind of a shift into that. And this trend is about pastels and bows and lace details and uber feminine silhouettes. It's embracing the feminine girl power, if that's the best way that I could describe it. Okay, so I love this contrast stitch blouse from CC. I feel like it hits all the marks for a curvy. And on top of it, it actually is in Pantone's color of the year, which is peach fuzz. So in addition to seeing styles of clothing, which can be trending, we also see different colors, which tend to be trending as well. So this is a great example of that. Okay, so the reason I love this for a curvy is several reasons, right? Like it's never just going to be one, it's several. The first thing that I love is that we have this contrasting trim. So you can see it up here in the neckline where you have kind of the black detail detailing. It's got the kind of feminine bow that we see. And then you also see we've got the contrasting stitch detail at the sleeve as well. So having it in both areas, both at the neckline and at the sleeve is going to keep that eye moving, which we've talked about before, which is really great for your curvy silhouette. Okay. So in addition to the contrast that we talked about up at the neckline and at the sleeves, we also are seeing a lot of pleating here in the middle, which I really love. Anytime that we can see extra pleats, extra darts, princess seams, it's going to be a great top for a curvy because it's going to follow your silhouette. It's going to feel much more fitted than something that doesn't have those extra details. All right. And then finally, what I love is picking trends that are going to have a great cost per wear, meaning not only can you wear them in spring, but the 
but you'll see them in summer and fall as well. And so since Hyper Feminine is brand new, there's a very good chance that we're going to see these details, these styles, these cuts, those sorts of things in the fall as well. So this is a great top that you can wear now in the spring and then turn around and wear it in the fall with a jacket. Again, lowering your cost per wear, getting more use out of that particular item. If you're wondering what to style it with, it's kind of there's a whole gamut of things. You can either style it with jeans, you could style it with dress pants. For shoes, you could look at a kitten heel or a slingback or a ballet flat. It really is a pretty versatile top that you could either dress down or dress up. Trend number three is the new neutrals and elevated basics. All right, so what's a new neutral and an elevated basic? So as we are seeing more people going back to work in person, this trend is being established of taking the basics that we've had for years and years and years in the workforce and reimagining them. And that's what they're calling it this elevated basic. In addition to that, they're kind of saying, hey, in the past, these would have been the neutral colors of for clothing, right? It would have been the crisp white and the light blue and the overall khaki, right? Like stuff that we've seen for years and years and years. And this trend now is saying, hey, we don't necessarily want those colors to always be what we consider neutrals. We'd like to bring in these other ones. So we're seeing mushroom and we're seeing like slate and we're seeing a lighter gray as well. So it's kind of these variations of gray instead of the traditional kind of tans that we've seen in the past. So the combination of those two together, new neutrals and elevated basics I feel is really great for curvies as we usually see basics tend to be more tailored things that are in a neutral color are also going to be more tailored again because of these two trends marry really well together all right so the one item that I thought I would show you of or give you an example of that I think is great for a curvy is a classic trench coat so trench coats are back not surprising it's an elevated basic but we're seeing them being reimagined in several different ways so first off is color right this is a gray trench instead of our typical khaki or tan that we would have had in the past in addition to the styling changing we're also seeing that the fabric is changing as well and so in the past it would have been a very hard very structured cotton or cotton polyester now we're seeing a very lightweight fabric almost has an athletic feel to it and then because of the fact that this fabric is a little bit more lightweight a little bit more athletic it tends to drape in a different way than like our past trench coats would have so again kind of having this reimagined look of kind of like we're going back to the office we're looking for more classic looking but at the same time we want to have some of that athleisure component that has been so popular over the last years those are kind of what's making this elevated basic and the new neutral stand out okay so that was a whole bunch of information about the trend the reason that these trench coats work great for curvies is because you've got a tie belt which is going to be able to showcase your waist the oversized collar and then the double breasted buttons are going to be able to keep the eye moving and so it allows the eye to kind of bounce all around, allowing you to not overfill or underfill any one part of your hourglass and allows you to look balanced. So this particular jacket is going to be awesome. You're going to be able to wear it with dressy casual, business casual, regular casual, and athleisure. So it's just a really versatile jacket that's going to have some really great cost per wear and a great one to bring into your spring wardrobe. Okay, as I finish up, I feel like it's really important to talk about style versus trends. So at the beginning of this video, I talked about the perfect outfit being three equal parts. Clothes that work with your body, not against it, also known as clothes that help you achieve your particular body types, illusion of balance goal, that fit and that are in your style. But it can be tricky to know the difference between trends and style. And we get inundated with so much media, right? Like you get information that comes to you in the mail with catalogs. You see influencers and what they're posting. You may have friends, you may go shopping. There's just so much coming at you that it can be difficult to kind of interpret like, well, what's a trend and what is actually part of my style, my intrinsic style. And one of the things that I teach my students is that in general, trends are specific styles that become more or less less popular during specific times. So every now and again, we may see a brand new style of clothing that hits the fashion world, but for the most part, trends are just older styles reimagined. Just like trench coats, right? Trench coats have been around forever. They are not a new style. 
how they're being interpreted makes them a little bit more on trend, but the particular style of a trench coat is pretty classic. It's been around since the beginning of time, or at least it feels like it. But trends are different than style. Style is intrinsic to the wearer. So something can be trendy, but not your style. So it's up to you to decide if you want to add that particular trend to your wardrobe or not. You will find, just like I do, that some trends hit directly on your style. And if that happens, you should stock up because stores are going to have more of a selection than normal. So if you love tailored basics, this is the time to stock up because you are going to have more choices in store than if you wait maybe three years down the road. Now, there's always times that certain trends don't work for you and you look at them and you're like, I'm not adding that in, that isn't even something I would wear. And it's okay to let them go. I have been doing this for eight years, so I have went through eight different spring seasons. But but with that being said, please do not ignore all the trends, right? Because when you add trending pieces into your wardrobe, it helps to keep it current. So what's the right amount? How many should you do? What should you do? My advice that I tell my students is to add trends strategically. I always say, number one, you want to add a trend that is part of your style. So again, if it's something that relates to you, something that you like, then you know that you have a better than average chance of wearing it because it's something that gives you that kind of like mm, feeling when you wear it. And the next thing is to pick trends that are best for your body type. Why would we want to add clothes that don't put us into balance? We want to add clothes that are going to work best for our body, that make us look the best. So in addition to, again, loving the trend, let's pick trends that actually are going to work for our individual body type. And then finally, I tell my students, you got to make sure that it fits your lifestyle. So many times we get wrapped up into buying something that doesn't necessarily work for the way that we live. I call it that we buy for our fantasy lives. And it's easy to do. We see images of people, you know, going to Paris, or we see images of people going out on dates, or we see images of them eating at some chick restaurant. And we're like, oh, well, I want to do that too. And then we buy Buy that particular item and then we don't really go to those places so it ends up sitting in our closet again you want to make sure that whatever you bring into every season again is a trend that you love a trend that works with your body and a trend that works with your lifestyle and the other thing I'll say try them out try them out sometimes you can try a new trend and it actually will be better than you think you'll actually like it more than you thought style is all about you being able to show the outside world how you feel in the inside and sometimes that takes a little bit of risk the great thing is is you can try stuff on in store and if it doesn't work you can put it back on the rack or if you buy online you can return it but don't be afraid to try new trends especially if they work for your body type okay friends remember I made it as easy as possible for you so if you click the link below it's right down here and give us your first name and email I'm actually going to send you our 2024 spring trends by body type buying guide Inside you'll find links plus substitutions to the items that I showed today, outfit inspiration, and additional trends that'll work for your curvy body type. And the best part, it's free. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I know trends can be hard to navigate, but they really are one of the fun parts of fashion. As long as you understand your body type and the best way of dressing it, you are guaranteed to have a wardrobe you adore. So be empowered, be confident in your purchases. Don't feel like you've got to bring in every trend into your wardrobe in order for it to be current. But again, don't be afraid of trends either. All right, my friends, have an amazing day. Take care, God bless, and I will see you next time when I have more fashion tips about dressing your individual body type. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.